Immediately after the quake, emergency crews did fan out to inspect bridges, airport runways, train tracks, roads, just about everything you can think of. And we're starting to get some of those reports tonight. Our Andrea McCarran has been monitoring things like schools and offices all afternoon. Andrea, I understand one area close to the epicenter, Culpeper, Virginia, has declared a state of emergency, correct? That's right. Culpeper has declared a state of emergency. Culpeper schools will be closed tomorrow. We have been reporting all afternoon that they would be closed. Now we understand they will be closed until further notice. An, uh, an alert came out that students, parents, and visitors would not be allowed into any of the Culpeper County schools until further notice. We also have important new information about other school districts. Fauquier County Schools in Virginia also closed tomorrow. Louisa County, right near the epicenter of this quake, also closed. Moving back to Culpeper, we know the Red Cross has now opened an emergency shelter at the Salem Fire Department. Virginia State Police troopers are blocking ramps into the town of Culpeper from the bypass of 29 for tractor trailers. They are concerned about structural damage, any kind of debris that is still falling from buildings in Culpeper. Also, three buildings have already been condemned. One building collapsed. We know of at least one person that has been taken to Culpeper Regional Hospital for treatment. Thankfully, again, to reiterate, no serious injuries, no reports of deaths. Something interesting we just learned. U.S. Senator Mark Warner happened to be in Culpeper. He was holding a town meeting at the Library of Congress facility there. When the quake struck, he simply moved with everyone else, evacuated the building, and then we are told continued the town hall meeting outside with about 60 people in attendance. Something we take for granted, prison inmates. In Culpeper County, we now know that 80 inmates were evacuated and have been relocated to other regional facilities, correctional facilities. Finally, safety precautions. Uh, Power has been cut to 80 businesses and 20 homes in the town of Culpeper. Just to recap, Mark Trains, Metro, and Amtrak are all running. Several delays reported. I heard from my husband at Metro Center on the red line. He said 150 people, roughly, were simply waiting to get on the train. There are, they are running but severe delays we understand on metro tonight i also understand that traffic lights are out as monica mentioned the downtown area around 13th and f streets uh traffic lights not working simply flashing
bring in nuclear expert and physicist Dr. Michio Kaku, who is with us again tonight. Good to see you, Dr. Kaku. When you have to go to the backup, to the backup? That doesn't sound good. Not good at all. We just dodged the bullet on this one. There are four backup pumps. One of them is out. If all four go out, then you're on the road to a full-scale meltdown. Fukushima. That's what happened in Japan. All the backup pumps went out, batteries went out. Then you're dead in the water. And then the core gets exposed. All right. Now let me ask you about what I know our viewers on the West Coast are probably thinking, because they go through a lot of quakes, some of them bigger than this. Are they right to say, hey, guys, this is, this is not so big? There's a difference between West Coast and East Coast earthquakes. The West Coast is very fragmented. Look at this. The fault lines are like this. So when an earthquake fault moves or shifts, the energy is localized. Therefore, the damage is concentrated. So one shifts, but not everything shifts. That's right. The and energy is localized. You were saying on the East Coast. Right. We have the North American plate. And so it rocks as one unit. Ah. And so energy is scattered all the way to Canada, for example. And you so were even well, I was going to say, you were telling me earlier that it's a wake-up call for the East Coast that we are not immune. That's right. We have to prepare our building codes for the once-in-the-century earthquake. We are not prepared at all. Our buildings don't sway like those in California and Japan. Our buildings would collapse if we had a major earthquake in Manhattan. And realize that Indian Point uh, can only withstand a 6.0 earthquake, and that's a nuclear power plant north of New York City.